anything. Mm. Like, I just never really thought to, like, it's not something that's ever in my life necessarily puzzled me to think, like, to try to figure it out. Right? Really? That's, okay. Yeah, that's why for me, it's like, that's why I say I don't really believe in anything right now. Because I just don't know. And I, I'm not sure that I've ever, like, been concerned about it. So let, let's put it this way then. What I, what I said earlier about this is our belief that there is a hereafter. And it's not just our belief. If you look at majority of the major religions on earth, they state that there is a hereafter and there is heaven and there is hell, right? So has it ever occurred to you or would that be a pop, bit of a nudge to you to say, wait a minute, if if majority of the human beings on earth have a belief, if you look at civilization, majority of the civilizations of the past, they all had a belief in a creator and in a hereafter. Yeah. So, so if you want any nudge to... Uh, you know, actually start looking into this. My my claim or my my uh, uh, reasoning for that would be this: You're in a minority. If you look at the history of humanity, you're in a very tiny minority that are of the belief that they may no, not be anything, and they may not be anything after we die. Yeah. I so just... is that is that a nudge enough to say, you know what? Wait a minute. If I'm the minority uh, uh, thinking like this then maybe I should start thinking about is there not not to believe something straight away but is there a possibility that there is something in there after yeah I mean I've always taken the approach of I don't really know and kind of whatever happens happens that's always been kind of how I've thought about it um, but it's not that I, I don't have like a belief one way or the other that there is or there isn't it's just kind of like I've not necessarily felt the need to like decide at some point right but so what I just said now is that enough of a like I said is that enough of a nudge for you to start deciding because because let, let's put it this way the consequence of all of those people yeah. in humanity for all those thousands of years in civilization not being correct and you being correct right the, what, the, the, the probability is quite slim I would say but I'm not saying they're incorrect no no but, but what I'm saying what I'm saying is on, on, the, on the notion of let's say pushing you to actually make a decision or look into it is it, is it reasonable to say that if, if the consequence of you, you're saying, you know, whatever happens, happens. If the yeah. consequence of you not looking into this is that, even if it's a small, con uh, you know, probability in your eye, that you could have a hereafter of being in, not in a bad, yeah. not, uh, it being in a bad place, is that enough then to start looking into it, is my question. I don't know. I don't know if you I still have, don't know. I don't really, know if I have a fear of, of no. This. So it's that's why I'm not sure. Like I think if I look into it and I feel it compelling, then I would continue. To shall, I, shall I shall I tell you something that might might ignite that fear in you? Yeah. It may it may or it may not, right? Yeah. You know, right now that we're having this conversation, yeah. I've told you about Islam, or maybe I'm going to tell you again that there is one God that right. to be worshipped, uh, and He He created us, right. and and it is to Him that we will return, and whoever dies believing in the oneness of that God and worshipping him on his terms would enter power of that. So the ignition, that, that thing, that, that spark that I might ignite in you is that is the fact that I've now given you that information. You now don't, won't have any excuse on the day of judgment. Yeah, no. That, that, you know, to say, you know what, God, no one told me about this. Yeah. Right. 